Hey guys, haven't been uh, feeling very well, so I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a little bit, but I'm back today and we're gonna do a ring pour. Um, haven't tried to do one of those in quite a while, actually. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go today. Um, we've got a um, eight by 10, stretch canvas. Uh, I have taped the bottom to uh, keep it from getting paint all over this area of the canvas. Um, put in my little stick pins. Um, made sure that it was level uh, so we're all ready to go. Mixed up my paints. Today we're going to be using um, Artist Loft Metallic Purple, Liquitex Deep Violet, and Liquitex Brilliant Purple. And we're going to be using um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. First thing that we've got to do is uh, layer our colors in our cup. Um, you want to start with the color that you want in the middle of your ring. Um, and we're going to be alternating lighter and darker shades. So um, I've decided I wanted to start with the brilliant purple. Let, ha let that be my center get my little sticks out okay um, so you want to pour your paint in to where it runs down the side not up high not straight down into it but down into the cup along the side. Now my paints are thicker than I normally use for other types of pours. You want your paint to be a little thicker for these. Um, next I'm going to uh, go with the deep violet. Same thing, you want it to Pour along, pour along the side of your cup. Now the metallic purple. See how I want to show you. See how it looks? Now some black. And we wanna go back to how we started. You wanna layer the same order. Metallic purple. And some black. I think we'll do one more round and that'll be it. This is not that large of a canvas, so it's not gonna take 
a whole heck of a lot of paint. really like the way that it looks in the cup see pretty cool hopefully it's gonna look a lot cooler on the canvas <laughs> that's the that is the object of what we're doing today okay now I'm going to start pouring right in right in the center and moving in a circular movement as I'm pouring. Once you start pouring, you do not stop pouring. That's, that's pretty important. As you start getting to the bottom of your paint, you want to go a little slower. take some just thinner, a thinner batch of the black and put that around. We're going to use that as a flow extender.
Okay. Now the fun part. Now to start moving our paint. We want to do this slowly. We want these these rings to open up. Without totally losing the composition of our design here. You want to keep keep your eye on your painting the whole time. Looks like I'm getting some cells, though there is no silicone in my paint. Oh, my paints are mixed with Floetrol and Elmer's glue as my pouring medium. Sorry about the angle. I'm sure you probably can't see 
that well when I'm lifting it up like this, but that's part of the process. to get over to this this corner Look at it. Looks like I see a bunch of bubbles in it. Probably because I forgot to torch it before I started moving the paint around. See what a few days taking off does to you? You forget something that basic. I think I like it. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it this um this black it's got we've got this black over here i could keep trying to get that to come over and we have a tiny bit of black over there i don't know let me think should i try let's see let's see if we're getting movement how much movement of a paint we get that will let me know if we really have enough paint to be trying to cover that side, that corner. I am getting some movement, but not enough uh, that I want to uh, try because it's going to totally whack this if I do that. It's going to totally whack the middle. Well, that's a, that's a wrap, guys. Let me um, get these nasty gloves off and get, and uh, I'll let y'all have a close-up. My, um, I think my ex blow extender was maybe a tad too thin.
Okay, I just wanted, I don't want to have any uh, bare spots. And it's easier to do it with your fingers really than anything else. So, let me, let me um, grab the torch real quick. Bubbles in it. Okay, here we are. I thought I had recorded um, a close-up, but when I checked my video, it was not there. So we're gonna redo this. Um, and so I can show you this painting close-up because that's pretty much the coolest part of the whole, of the whole thing is getting to see the close-up. Seeing the layers upon layers of color, how they interact with one another to create a really cool effect. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this video and uh, seeing this demonstration. Um, if you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, um, give me some uh, suggestions for future videos, give me some feedback on ways to uh, improve my videos. Uh, you could give me a suggestion for a name for this painting. Um, and I would really appreciate it if you considered subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to uh, build my channel and the more people that subscribe and like and comment, uh, the more YouTube is apt to suggest uh, my, or recommend as they say, recommend my video to other viewers. So, um, that's all for today. I will uh, be making another video soon. Uh, I really appreciate your support and I look forward to painting with you again soon. Y'all take care. Bye.